Hi everyone, Miss Royal here. I'm here with my assistant, Piper. Hi. She's gonna help us out today on identifying the parts of a book and then we're gonna read the story together. So the story I have for us today, a couch for llama. Hmm, let's identify the parts of the book. Piper's gonna help us out. What do we call this part of the book? The front cover. The front cover. And I know if this is the front cover, what do we call this? The back cover. The back cover. Good job. Are you with us? And this is the back cover. What do we call this guy right here? The spine. The spine. And we do have the spine. So let's turn it back to the front cover. We have this up here. A couch for llama. What is a couch for llama? It's the title. That's our title. Good. And then what's all the way down here? It's the author and the illustrator. Ooh, the author and the illustrator. And what's the job of the author? What does the, the author, author do? The author writes um, the words. He so does. She wrote this. Yeah, he or she does. Llama. And what does the illustrator do? Draws the pictures just like this. Draws the pictures. And today, our author and illustrator are the same person, Leah Gilbert. You want to say hi, Maddox? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's read the story. A couch for llama. I can help you. Now, here's this. Is this the title page? No. No, yes. it isn't. What is it missing? It's missing the picture. Not the picture. It's missing someone very important. The name. author and the Yes, illustrator. you're right. The author and illustrator. So let's see. <gasps> and all this. Is yeah. this the title page? Yes. This is it. A Couch for Llama by Leah Gilbert. What is Leah? That's an author and an illustrator. The Lagos family couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reaping, card playing, fort building, and hide and seeking. And they had many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Whee! Oops. Hey! One day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. Where? Let's find out where. One that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found their perfect couch. Why does that new couch have But on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh. Snap. Uh huh. Snap. Llama. Oh. Yep. Llama found a couch. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniffy, sniff, sniff. Sniffy, diff. Llama braid hello to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. Because it, it's not a real couch. It is a real couch, but it's not alive, is it? Mm -mm. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. Mm. Why would he want to eat his new friend? I don't know. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just wouldn't budge. Wouldn't move. <laughs> it's a silly touch. Um, 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 the Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's the couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very very boring. Why do you have to pretend it was? So Llama snuck up and pounced and bouncy, bouncy, bounced, whirled and twirled, jumped and bumped. Is kicked that what we bud. do on a couch? No. No. He kicked the bud. Did he? Yeah. And fell down into the smushy, mushy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He actually, finally, completely loved the couch. This new old toy. 
the Lago family found their couch. And also, a llama. A llama llama llama. He looks comfy. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, llama. We'll be back. What do you think they're going to do? Um, maybe bring another couch for him. Ooh, what a surprise! A couch just for Lana. Yeah. At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch. But Lama was the happiest of all. The end. Yay! I hope you loved a couch for Llama. Don't treat your couch like Llama treats his couch. Yeah. I hope y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time.